Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Giselle. If you're new here, hello. Thank you guys so much for clicking on my video. Today, I'm going to show you things that I've been loving in this past month. I have been just using the same thing. I haven't really been shopping much for makeup that is but clothes and shoes i have been and i really want to show you these stuff because they're more fallish things and i'm really excited for fall fall is my favorite season my birthday's in november it's actually a day before thanksgiving this year so that means next year my birthday will be on thanksgiving i'm really excited my birthday is november 24th so i'm a sagittarius if you're into that <laughs> Anyways, let's just um, start because I don't want to take too long showing you these things. So first things first, I want to start off with accessories. So your phone is your accessory, I believe, and you can dress them up to make them cuter and stuff. And I'm a huge Caseify person. I love Caseify. I'm not sponsored by them. I would love to eventually, but these are all by Caseify. And they're just really cute. I've never had one that's like so graphic like this i'm more simple but i decided to get some that are colorful and these phone charms are also one of my favorite found some on amazon for really cheap they came in a packet of five i believe and it came in this little tiny plastic container i'll try to link this pack down below if you're interested but it has really cute ones with um smiley faces and some charms that say love on them. So this one right here has smiley faces. This one says love on it right there. But before I bought those crazier ones, I got this mirrored one. I love this mirrored one. It's really handy when you're out and you don't want to like get up to the bathroom to see if you have lipstick on your teeth. Um, this one is the one that I have on right now. It's more of a oatmeal color. The only thing that I do not like about this case is that because it's such a light oatmeal color, it gets stained pretty easily and like you can tell where the black jeans stained it. This charm is one of my favorites. This one actually had, I had to buy it on its own. It's from Amazon as well though, but it took me forever to get it. I feel like I paid a little too much for this one charm. It was like $8 and then like the pack of five I think was around the same amount so you pick and choose like if it's really cute and you want to spend that much money then go ahead right that's why we work <laughs> but yes talking about accessories let's talk about earrings now I'm a huge earring type of person just because I love how it looks like my ears are so small though that I can't ever imagine myself having enough room for more earrings but this one right here is actually a fake little hoop it's a cuff that I got from Amazon. I found a lot of cute ones off of Amazon. One pair is from Target. They're a little more expensive because they were from Bobble Bar. And Bobble Bar has really great quality earrings. These are the cuffs from Bobble Bar. Very nice. So the majority of these are from Amazon. Again, Amazon has great things for cheap. And also, I got these earrings from Target. I have been looking for some, like, three-hooped earrings for a while now and these are perfect i absolutely love them i think they make such a statement i feel like if you're wearing a really basic outfit dressing up your outfit with jewelry just makes it look so much more elegant and chic oh and i also want to show you these earrings talking about my piercings and stuff so i don't know if you guys can see but this piercing um was done by my mother the second hole that i have and it was honestly done too high up, I feel, and it's too, like, chunky. I don't know how to explain it. Like, some earrings, they're too small and they hurt my ear. So I have to, like, find either a stud just so that it looks like I have something there. But I found these. I found these that you don't actually close. It's literally just a hoop. And I found more on Amazon, so they don't have a closure. You literally just loop it into your hole. And they're so comfortable. The only thing that I do not like about these earrings is that my hair does get caught in it because it's not closed entirely. But they feel amazing on my second piercing. So if you have that issue too, maybe you can try that out. Okay, and I have two more items for fashion. Let's talk about these. I have been looking for the perfect cardigan for a while because I just had jackets and I wanted something lighter. So I found these at Target. This one is so comfy. I love it. It's really baggy though. 
so i got it in a size small i'm usually like a medium size six or eight in clothes if you're wanting to know and i'm five seven but this fits me perfectly it covers my butt and the color is so cute i love it it's like a ivory oatmeal color they also have it in like like a darker oatmeal it's more like grayish oatmeal my sister has that one it looks so cute on her we're getting closer to fall so target is getting more of their fall clothes so you better go snatch some stuff before it gets all snatched up now this black one is also from target but it's a different texture i believe it's from a different brand yeah this one's from a new day this one is a little closer knit it's not like the same texture as the white one but i still like it it has pockets in the front as well i've been wearing them every day practically and last but not least, shoes. So I'm going to show you some chanclas that I've been loving. I've been living in them in my house. So the first pair that I got were these black Birkenstocks. They're fake plastic Birks. I honestly never like the shape of these shoes. They just don't look cute. Kind of like the croc thing. I'm not really into them. But they're so comfy because like they're plastic. I don't really have to like worry about the thing I don't like about Birks is like the tela getting stained with your sweat. I don't like that look. It looks dirty. But these look really good. I fell into the trend of those like squishy cushion cloud slides. I had some Adidas ones before and I had to give them up because they were getting old. So I was like, I need to find some cute slides. And I found these in the blush tone. I thought they were so cute. I did have to size up one size because I'm a 9. But I had to get them in a 10 because my toes were peeking out. And I hate when your toes are like literally off the edge of your sandals so i had to size up if you're wanting to get these these are from brand oof they're already rubbed off but i'll try to find the same ones that i got on amazon but amazon has a lot of dupes for these my mom actually bought me some that weren't these brands and they were really hard so just make sure you get the cushion i think it's cushion something i don't know but i'll try to link it so now that we're in the fall season, I'm so excited because that means I can pull out my Doc Martens. I feel like they never look ugly with anything. And the only thing that it is kind of like eh, about these shoes is that they are hard to break in. But I've had them for a while now and they still look pretty new. They're the Doc Martens with the black thread running through them. I think it just looks nice and classy all in black. I also just got these in the mail, but I know I'm going to love them. I've been looking for some high top platform Converse and these are sold out everywhere i feel like why is it sold out i know they're cute but like i don't like i don't, I don't understand i <laughs> i don't know but i found these on rack room shoes and i was so confused because i found two white platform converse one was 69.99 and the other one was like 75 dollars. so i don't know maybe the other one is like I don't know if it's a glitch on their website but they had them in my size i got them to my true size i got them in a nine in women so seven in men and they fit me perfectly like i like my shoes to have enough space for my toe if i wear socks obviously because you're gonna wear socks they always say to go half a size down but i think these are perfect for me and they're so cute i'm really excited like with a flannel or like a shacket that would look so cute that's another item i would need to look for because i'm so picky about about plaids and flannels they the color scheme has to be perfect because there's some that i'm like oof that doesn't look cute or like the material looks really cheap i don't i'm not gonna buy like a louis vuitton shirt like i just need something good quality but not overly expensive like i'm not gonna pay nine dollars for a shacket you know what i'm saying maybe ever will come out with some cute stuff they have really nice stuff that's also another website i've been like eyeing okay anyways <laughs> last pair of shoes i actually have them on these are the madden girl oh i forgot the name of them but i'll make sure to leave them down in the description box i have been looking for some really cute chunky platform boots for a while i have always been on the fence of it though not gonna lie because i am really tall and i'm just that's low-key one of my insecurities <laughs> i know that's crazy because I, I know a lot of girls are like i would kill to be your height but I just don't like to like stand out too much especially being in a hispanic family like we're all like some of my family is tall and then the other half is very short so i don't like to stand out too much but anyways these are so cute and comfy i'm breaking them in right now i was originally gonna buy the ones with the jewels on them don't get me wrong they're so cute i love them but 
I feel like I would get sick of them. I wouldn't want to wear them as often as I would the black ones. Also, I don't want to hassle with it getting caught on my jeans or anything. So black, practical, timeless shoes. And I also bought some chunky loafers, but those haven't gotten in yet. And they were a little bit pricey. They were like 90 something dollars. I was going to wait for these Steve Madden ones. They aren't going to get shipped to my house till December. But I was like, I'll just buy cheaper ones that are available. And if I like them, maybe I'll invest into the Steve Madden ones. But yeah. Um, oh, also Steve Madden does have a boot identical to this but they are called the howler shoe and the only difference that i saw was maybe that the elastic was shorter so it wasn't so down low it was probably like right here they look the same and the madden girl ones are cheaper so if you're in between steve madden or madden girl boots i feel like these look the same and they're cheaper so <laughs> just do you the favor and save some money and get the madden girl ones my boots back on Okay, one more accessory that I have been loving is actually this camera itself. This is the Sony ZV-1 camera. I made a whole video about it. I'll leave it down below so you can watch me opening it up, testing it, testing it between my old Sony camera, between this one. It's definitely such a great upgrade from my last camera. Just even the mic, I had to get an external mic to make sure that everything is chef's kiss perfect. But yeah, I've been enjoying my Sony camera. It's definitely a splurge, but I work hard for my money, so I was like, you know what? I deserve a nice camera. Okay, so now let's get into the beauty stuff, which I feel like everyone's here for. Okay, so the first thing is this Sol de Janeiro Rio Dio deodorant, and this has no aluminum, so that's great. The thing that I do not like is that it's white, and I don't, I'm so insecure. Like, what if I raise my arms up and you can see like the whiteness from the deodorant? <laughs> I'm really self-conscious about that. Like, I always make sure to, like, not raise my arms. Woohoo! So that everyone can see my underarms. But this smells amazing. I've never smelled the buttercream that they have, the body cream from this brand. I know that's crazy because everyone talks about it. But this smells amazing. It smells like a sweet baked item. I don't know, like, either, either, I don't know. It just smells... Like a candle from Bath & Body Works as well. Like a nice autumn Christmas candle. I love it so much. And I do smell it through the day. So that's really nice. I like smelling good. Also, I'm going to mention this really quickly because it's expired. And also, they don't have it anymore. Like, this is discontinued. But NYC, let's just give it a moment of silence for this brand. I used to love everything from this brand practically. Like, I remember I got this bronzer. This is like the first bronzer I ever got as a teenager also their liquid liner that stuff was amazing matte black it was so pigmented the applicator was everything and they discontinued the brand so i don't know why they did that but this bronzer is amazing i've been trying to use it up since like i know it's old and i'm not scared because it's like my makeup and it's on my face so it's okay but i've been loving this i've been using it every day practically not today though because i changed it up i'm wearing nars laguna bronzer some other powders i've been loving is the maybelline fit me of course this is a cult favorite here this is in the shade 10 though i used to have it in shade 15 i felt like it was too dark on my skin personally but this one is perfect under the eyes i put it everywhere and i feel like my face looks amazing during the whole day don't look ugly and cakey or too much powder on the face no it looks really good highly recommend if you're looking for a loose setting powder from the drugstore now for powder that's in a compact i've been loving this l'oreal infallible fresh wear this definitely gives you coverage and it mattifies your face it leaves the skin looking amazing once your skin oil comes out it looks so nice like you don't look like you drenched your face in oil after a long day with this powder you look amazing um i got this in the shade 130 everything from the fresh wear line i love i love their foundation i don't think they have a concealer yet but i'm pretty sure they should come out with one because that would be amazing but this powder is really really good i highly recommend if you're looking for a compact powder with coverage talking about a concealer that's a little too old <laughs> this is from collab it, the name's rubbed off even but this is from sally's beauty supply store and this is i'm pretty sure a brand of youtubers that collab to make products but this concealer is so good i'm in the shade sand beige 03 04 i feel like every time i wear it it doesn't look super cakey underneath it looks so nice it's a satin finish i really like the coverage and everything the color even i've never tried anything else from their brand though i don't know the brand isn't really like 
so like wow honestly their packaging doesn't really attract me i know that sounds really rude but nevertheless i love the concealer their concealer is bomb okay and then this palette i've been putting it pretty much all over my instagram i really really like it i've seen really bad reviews about it because they say it's too hard of a formula it is but i feel like you have to have the right brush for it I have no issue with the highlighter being too dry or the contour being too like ugly on the skin tone like I'm that's the only thing that I have to agree with people is that the tones really suck because this is the only palette they came out with they don't have one for medium to dark no fair this is I'm pretty sure for like medium to light skin tones and it suits me and I really like it this is only for me though I was planning to leave it in my kit but like I feel like that's not fair like there's not a lot of versatility in here so i just kept it and i also really like the packaging i really want to get the hourglass ones though they did come out with one for darker skin tones and then the other one for lighter skin tones i think that's really smart because you're a high-end makeup brand i feel like you should like include everyone but those look so pretty okay and then like I don't know if you know, but I love Luis Torres. I've been obsessed with Luis Torres, and he came out with a makeup brand with Beauty Creations. I've <laughs> been using his palette pretty much like all the time. I anytime I wear eyeshadow. Right now, I'm not wearing this one. I'm wearing a different one that I'm going to show you in a little bit. It's just the perfect color combination of crazy colors and neutrals on top. And he also came out with a face palette that I really enjoy. I feel like the blush is perfect. It's not too overly pigmented where you're like, oh my gosh, I look like a clown. The pigmentation is just perfect enough for you to like work it and build it on the face. The bronzer is also a great tone. It's not too warm and it's not too gray. The highlighters, you do have to be very careful. I feel like when you're doing a glam look, they are more appropriate because they're more on the shimmery side. Um, this one's more pinky, so maybe as a blush topper would be cute. I've been digging into this one more than this one. This collection was so nice, especially his lip products that I also have here. I don't have them on right now, but he came out with a shimmery one. This lip gloss, that's like a cream finish. I forgot which one it is. I think it's this one. So these two are glosses, and then this one's like a velvet lipstick thing and his lip liners everything is more on the neutral side which is so smart i feel like everyone is looking for neutrals anytime they buy makeup so he did a really good choice with the color selection talking about neutral lip liners and stuff this is my lip liner that i have been loving and trying to use up this has never happened to me i've never gone through a whole lip liner before this is uh nyx nude suede shoes and i love it i actually have it under this liquid lipstick this one is um ofra's miami fever that kathleen lights made with them but i put this underneath before i put that liquid lipstick on i just love it i put a gloss on top and it just looks so pretty on the lips and now for some mascara i have been really enjoying the formula of thrive cosmetics Ex liquid extensions mascara just it's so different it's so unique i love putting it on my lower lash line because the lower lashes i feel like they're closer to the face and if i ever do see flaking that's where i see it happen the most so it's a great mascara for that I do like it on my top lashes, but I feel like during the day, they do fall down a little bit. So that's the only complaint. But other than that, I love how it's so easy to remove with warm water and everything is off. You don't have any black residue after you get out of the shower, nothing. I believe every time you make a purchase off of their website, they donate to a woman. And I think that's so nice of them. I like not a lot of cosmetic brands. Sorry about my dog. Not a lot of brands do that. I think that's really awesome. Ugh. I try to put my hair in a twist with these things, but I feel like I can never achieve it because it's so heavy and like the clips don't hold all my hair. My mom does not like it when I do that my hair like this. She thinks I look lazy. Anyways, <laughs> I want to give a quick shout out to this Physicians Formula Waterproof Eyeliner. I love this eyeliner. I feel like it's so nice and pigmented. The liner brush is um, tiny little hairs, so it's not 
one of those felt tips, which I do not like personally. This one reminds me a lot of the Kat Von D liner, but the formula is amazing. I always get asked what liner I have on when I wear this. I'm not lying. And that never really happens. <laughs> so I've been enjoying that. This is the waterproof one, okay? Make sure you get that one. It has little droplets on it. It looks so cute. Last but not least, my Wow Brow Gel from e.l.f. I actually have it on right now. I really love the concept of a tinted brow gel on days when I don't want to fill in my brows. I'm really lazy when it comes to my brows now. But this is really great and very affordable. Last makeup product, which is on my eyes, the Laura Lee Los Angeles palettes. Guys, these are so pretty, especially these neutral ones. So right now, I'm wearing this on my lid with this one in the inner corner and this in my crease. So that's what I have on right now and I really, really like it. I always bring these on my makeup jobs when I have bridal party especially because they always want blush tone eyeshadows very neutral this one is also a great one this one is their nudie patootie palette this one's so cute too it's a little longer so it has more eyeshadows and i feel like these are perfect for autumn as well just because you have these nice transition shades and like auburn nice mustardy colors very nice and also like the shimmers in here are so nice guys i really really like them my mom actually bought these for herself online and then she let me have them but i just i always get discouraged with makeup online because i want to see it in person but these are worth it if you're also lazy to buy makeup online these are so worth buying they're so so versatile i feel like everyday average girl who does makeup with neutrals these are so nice let me put them side by side Okay, am I missing anything? Because I really don't want to be like, oh my gosh. I even wrote like a little notepad, so let's see. No, I think that's it. Okay, I'm doing very well. I really hoped that you guys enjoyed seeing what I've been loving these past couple of weeks and maybe days or hours with these shoes that I have on. But I'm, I know I'm gonna love them. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I have. And please let me know like what you've been liking. I would so look into whatever you guys have been looking at because... You know, it's nice to see what other ladies are into. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video.